Why are you switching back? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut the hell up! Why are you switching back? Pick the right one up and put it over your damn head! Do you understand me? Yes, yes, sir! This... This way! Let's go! ...is the shark attack. Get off the head! Get off the head! A mandatory rite of passage for every future U.S. Army soldier on day one of basic training. Good, good, good. Hurry up. Hurry. At least it used to be. You're a tough guy. Do something. Do something. That's what I thought. In September, the Army announced that the shark attack will no longer take place. This year, we developed a new training event for our initial entry soldiers. Hustle, 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 let's go! Instead, the shark attack has been replaced by what you see here. Whoa, hey! An event called the first 100 yards. I think there was a time and a place for the shark attack. We already know it's a cultural thing, but I think we can make this better. Right there! Right there, there's a lot right there! Business Insider recorded this footage of a shark attack inside Fort Benning in February, showing future soldiers beginning their training in the armor school. You know, we're breaking a lot of habits from the civilian world, and nothing better than a little shock to the system to let us start our training. If you decided to join the Army and you can't pick that back up. With the Army's announced change, this may be some of the last footage of a shark attack to ever be recorded. Why can't you follow simple instructions? And according to the Army, when this footage was recorded in February, the plan to transition away from the shark attack was already in motion. Fortenberry said he began to reevaluate the shark attack at the request of his superior officer. He said, Rob, what do you think about the shark attack? And I'm like, sir, I've struggled with that thing my whole career because it doesn't speak to an all-volunteer force. Shut, 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 shut your mouth! Shut, shut, shut your mouth! Shut, shut your mouth! Shut. You know, loyalty, duty, honor, selfless service. And the shark attack was completely counterintuitive to that. You were told to pick up the left leg. Why do you have the right leg? So how did this ah, become a regular part of Army training? In the early 60s, you know, we were not a volunteer army, we were a draft army. So you had people that had no desire to ever be a part of the service that were drafted into the military to serve in Vietnam. There was dominance that needed to be established early on to really kind of weed out the less than desirables, or quite honestly, those that might turn against the drill sergeants as they were going through training. The draft era ended in 1973 and the Army returned to being an all-volunteer force. But the shark attack remained an undocumented part of basic training. Why are you moving? Why are you moving? It has never been written down in any historical document. So it's literally been tribal lore and just passed on from generation to generation. And I think that's really important. Close your eyes again. 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 What was it designed to do? What were the outcomes of the shark attack? And it's almost a trick question because I did my homework and it's not codified anywhere. There are no outcomes for a shark attack. Pick it up! Pick up your bag and hold it! Pick up your bag and hold it! Aside from the yelling, one of the basic components of a shark attack is trainees being ordered to lift and hold their duffel bags above their heads. It was mass punishment, so there was nothing to achieve, there was nothing to gain. It was, quite honestly, it was survive it. Just survive whatever was getting thrown at you, but it didn't result in any success or failure. It was just survive an hour of just getting screamed at, yelled at, and holding my duffel back. It's almost like the shark attack allowed you for that moment in time to not treat somebody with dignity and respect. How do you still not understand me? He just said it! That's a great example of how it betrays the trust. And I'm gonna humiliate you as a man, as an individual, or as a woman. And then literally once this event is done, I'm gonna tell you how you need to believe in me. Let's go! As a drill sergeant, my job is to build trust with you so that when I say something or when I ask you to do something, you believe in me because you know I have your best interest at heart. It's leadership 101, right? Hustle, hustle, 
This is what's replacing the shark attack. The first 100 yards, or as it's known in the armor school, Thunder Run. Fort Benning provided this footage of the event in action. And while the tone is different, it's clear the drill sergeants aren't taking it easy on the trainees. Stop walking! You better sound the off, yes? Yes, drill sergeant! We still scream. We still yell. We still drive intensity and momentum because we want to have that shock. We want to have that confusion. Stop wandering with your eyes. The difference is, is that there's an outcome to be achieved versus during the shark attack, it's just yelling and screaming to determine who the less desirables are. The event takes place over two and a half hours. It includes a mock battlefield resupply mission. One minute, get a good look at it. Everybody get a good look at it. Their first thing when they get that resupply mission is the drill sergeant leads the men, leads the platoon with a simple, follow me, let's go. First communication is key to succeed as a team, let's go. He's driving it, he's leading it, he's leading by example. The event also includes competitive fitness tests featuring exercises from the Army's combat fitness test, like leg tucks, push-ups, and the standing power throw. It's two and a half hours of straight physical exertion. So, you know, as you go through these events, if you lose, you get smoked or you do corrective training. There are consequences to failure. There are consequences to loss. One of the last phases of the first 100 yards features a demonstration of an infantry squad in action. We show them what a real infantry squad looks like. And this could be you in 22 weeks. Through your determination and your desire to succeed, this could be you. So let's start the journey. I wanna put them through a challenging test where winning does matter. I want them to taste success if they've applied to the best of their ability what they've been able to achieve through physical hardship. And the results of that is they've tested themselves. They've tested themselves the first time. Yes, Drill Sergeant! Hi, I'm Graham Flanagan, producer of Business Insider's Boot Camp Series. Current and former members of the Army, what do you think about the decision to end the shark attack? And to all military members and veterans, how has training changed in other branches? And what do you think about those changes? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next episode of Bootcamp.